Hey guys, it's me, Vic73, and welcome to a brand new Minecraft puzzle map. We are in a seemingly empty room for Minecraft abstract puzzles. I always like a good old puzzle map. That makes me sound probably not as cool as I'd like to be, but um, always down for puzzle maps. Always a fan of things abstract. Not abstract art, though. I never have really been into I never really understood abstract art, but abstract things in general, always down for a bit, a bit of outside the ordinary in this map is definitely shaping up to be that. Is this the start of the map? Is that you know? There's a huge. Oh wait, is this like parkour? I want to break the crystals and make things block, but I think actually this is the way to go. They were just there for being pretty. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Abstract puzzles. That was uh, getting really exciting with all the noise, and then it stopped. Okay. Is this? Does this mean something? It, or is it just abstract art? Who knows? Maybe. I, I don't know. Anyway, um, okay, peaceful render distance 12, game mode 2, I'm on that, boom, boom, boom. There are hints to the puzzle hidden on every level. Okay, I'll begin. Ooh. This is, this is just pure abstract, isn't it? It's beautiful. Okay, put answer into hopper. What is full of holes but can still lots of water? Um, might I use them for some, I might use them for something. There's something through there. Um, okay. Okay, wait, wait, let's, let's, uh, well, it's full of holes, but we can still lots of water. Um, still, stop, what's up, a dam? No, it's not full of holes. Um, what stills water? A towel isn't full of holes. A sponge, yes. A sponge? A sponge, how do I put that in the, uh, in the hopper, because that reminds me of the riddle. I love riddles, by the way. That reminds me of the riddle, um, what gets wetter the more it dries. And it's a towel. And I assume a sponge has holes. I don't, I don't understand right now. Aha. Uh -huh. Ooh. Aha. Uh -huh. And sponge. You do not deceive me with your yellow wool. TNT. That stops water, right? That stills water. I kind of does. Anyway, surely I just throw this in here and then... Okay, level one. Uh, not too difficult. It has some parkour. I don't know what's puzzling about this, but it sure is abstract. Okay, we have a green and an orange. Green and yellow. <laughs> green and orange? What am I about? Green and orange. Orange and yellow. Orange and blue. Orange and red. We drop down here. Ah. Red that way. Orange that way. Yellow that way. Is that green? The odd one out, perhaps? The blue? What does not fit is right for picking. You better hurry up because time is ticking! Nice little rhyme. But what does that mean? This is this is not ideal. This is not what I wanted to be doing. Failing at parkour. Come on, time is ticking! And fruit is ripe for picking. Um, Orange, orange, orange. Oh wait, it's like maybe the walls? Ah, there'll be something that doesn't match up. So green, green. Um, Red, red. Orange. Green, yellow, yellow. Huh? That's the only thing I'm spotting is a difference right now. Oh, 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 oh. Green and blue and yellow make green? Blue and yellow make green? Uh, no. Okay. I am, you know, I, sh I, I should be better. Am I, am I missing something obvious here? Am I missing something key? To be fair, there are four buttons down there, and I've pressed two of them, so... I'm trying to think what the... That makes orange. Red and blue makes orange. Red and green does not make yellow. What? Okay, I'm pretty sure there's only one button left to press now. And it's the opposite to that. It's, it's this one. Huh. Wow. Um, no idea how I ended up here. If anyone wants to enlighten me, let me know in the comments down below. I guess I missed something there. What have we here? It's pretty dark in here. Rename the paper to answer the riddle. Rename the paper in the anvil with no caps or spaces. Okay. You make them when you walk. Um, what do you make when you walk? Um, steps. Um, footsteps. Um, steps, footsteps. You can try. It could be one of those. Uh, let's see. Let's go. Steps. Um. Oh, right, I need levels. How do I get levels? That turns the lights on. That's where you put the answer. What do we have here? 
Alright, okay. What does that even say? The more of them you take, the more you leave behind. What are they? Um, that actually isn't... That, how do I... Oh, okay. That would actually be... That would be footprints. That, that's something you leave behind. Footprints. There we go. Boom. Take it over here. Drop it in. No? Uh, what does this do? Why does that light things up? Oh, wait, what's that down there? Hint. The answer... Great hint. The answer is footsteps. But, no, I disagree. You don't leave footsteps behind. Footsteps, that's, that's a sound. Footprints, you leave those behind. But, you know, I'll humor you for this one, Mr. Map. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll humor you, because I want to beat the map. So, footsteps it is, okay? Throw you in here. And we're through. Okay, level three. Press for riddle. Where's the hint that gives me the answer right? What well, goes around and around the wood, but never goes into the wood. An, an insect of some... No, it's a riddle. It's, it's not going to be the obvious thing. It's not going to be the obvious thing. That gives me my XP. Okay. Um, wood. What goes around and around the wood leaves... But why would leaves ever go into the wood? Goes around and around... Oh! The bark goes around and around the wood. So, if I was to go around and around... The Ah, we go up here. Ah, there's the anvil. So, the bark. I can, can I rename this? Bark. Bark. That goes around the wood, surely. No? <laughs> Put the name sapling here. That would be my problem. Vic's trying to get a bit too far ahead of the game here. Just a little bit. I didn't even need to jump there. The sapling. I was like, really? Really? I thought I got it. Bark. There we go. Like a dog. If it says woof or something, I would write it. Nope, okay, level four complete. What have we here? We have a room of ice, seemingly parkour, ladders. Um, okay, seems simple, right? Not unless you know how to craft it. Craft cracked stone brick, uh, which I can definitely do. Place them in here to solve puzzle. Um, I definitely read those in the wrong order. I'm pretty sure you just make stone bricks and then you cook them. And... There's ladders up to the crafting table and the furnace, but there's also parkour. I feel like the parkour is here to challenge us. So, we will we will accept this challenge. And we will parkour our way up. This is... That's quite a difficult jump, actually. Is that... What is that? Is that, like, three and one? That's one, two, three. Yeah, three and one. That's, I think, like, the equivalent of a four-block jump. And it's on ice, but... I'm not a fan of ice, to be honest. Because you just don't get that momentum properly. You can't just kind of... I know, what's the best way to do it? I guess, yeah, you have to literally shift all the way to one side. And then go for it, so... Thing is, you can't even go off the side of this block, so... That's... You know what? That's not an easy jump. At least, I like to think it's not. I don't know. Okay. We just need to leave it later, I'd say. There we go. There we go. Nailed that. Okay. We're on something now. Momentum these And here we go. We've made it up to the table of crafting, but there's nothing to craft. I need to make the uh, So why does it have those ladders? Those ladders are cheeky So if I just make four stone that will be enough to make me the four stone Let me add stone bricks which I can do there. Can I reach that from here? No, we can't so we're gonna have to jump back down with the stone then make the stone bricks and then cook them again up here and that should make it into cracks. And I wish there was a faster way. Can I place the cobblestone? No, I can't. I can do nothing. Except to wait for my stone to cook. So this will be one sec. Alright, got my stone. Now I just jump to here. In before I fall off this whole thing and cry myself to sleep. I make the stone bricks like this. Oh my. No room for error there. And then I throw these back in here with the, with the remaining fuel. And I should get some cracked stone bricks from this. I think this is how you make them. It's quite new. Are these are 1.8 new thing. I think they are to craft them. You can only get them from end thingy mobs before. So there we go. Just yellow down there. Throw them in there. And boom. Aha. Level 5 redstone. My old friend. I knew you would be here somewhere. So I assume. I don't know what the chicken's doing. I need to get redstone through to there. So in order to get redstone through to there. I need to disable this redstone torch. And I need to disable this one as well. So to disable this one, simply stand on. No trouble there. I need to disable this as well. How do we do that? So if I stand on here, this sends a pulse all the way through there. 
She doesn't seem to do much. What does this do? Okay, so the chicken's gone through. So this unlocks that because it depowers this whole system. So that unlocks that. So if I send a pulse through there, then unlock this, then that's going through and I power that down. I need to time that so I need to be on there when that pulse reaches through. So if I go here, set that off, hold this until it's through, and then hold up, hold up. That needs to be off. This also, how long does this stay off for? Not long. And once that's, once that's through, the thing is this will actually, this should run through, but it doesn't last long. Okay, so we'll go there, there, and there. There we go, okay. All right, I'm sorry if you don't like parkour. You know what? Not the hugest fan um, of the ice park or earlier, but this this seems like it could be right up my alley, right up my street. This this ain't too oi nearly lost, nearly lost the will to live. Then when I bumped my head on that block, okay, and around we go and really yeah, I felt like I was missing something. Something along here? I like, again, the abstract star. <sighs> that that would be it. I just totally ignored that, didn't I? Totally ignored that. Is that does that do the job? Do I, need to, I can't take the lever, can I? Okay, can we nail this two in a row? That is the question everyone is asking right now. See, this is the one where you need to be... You know, that's the one you need to be careful. Because if you go directly for it, you're going to hit your head on that block there. That's quite a big jump there. You guys can hear my space bar. Taking some abuse there. But, with that done, we advance onto level 7. We have some uh, levers on the floor. And it looks like we have quite a simple combination. Top, bottom, middle, nothing middle. So, we go top, bottom, middle, nothing middle. Easy. Easy indeed. Name the paper the answer to the riddle. Paper. Aha. And get XP here. And this thing devours all birds, beasts, trees, flowers. Gnaws iron, bites steel, grinds hard stones to meal, slays ki I recognize it, slays kings, ruins towns, and beats high mountains down. J.R.R. Tolkien, The Hobbit. Yes, I've read the, the Hobbit, although it was like eight years ago, maybe. This quote. I remember this quote. It is, at first I was going to say a river, because that obviously um, beats high mountains, well, wears away. Um, no, no, it's, it's, oh, the analogy is over, over time, time. Time devours all, um, devours all birds, beasts, and trees, beasts, trees, flowers, gnaws iron, bites steel, grinds, I can't read today, for some reason my brain, I'm, I'm too excited that it's time, yeah, it definitely is time. So I do have a bit of an advantage there, because I've read the book, I believe. His time, which is on our side, and if I place this in here, we have completed the map. There we go. That was abstract puzzles. Hopefully, you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, creating all that good stuff. Let me know if there are any other puzzle maps you'd like to see me play. This slime in the corner is very abstract, must admit. Um, all that good stuff, and uh, I will see you all on my next video. Thank you, and goodbye.